Hi, this is SAT lesson number whatever it's going to be on our website, and it's on exponents. And I'm talking, going to talk about exponents in general and the use of algebraic exponents. And let's start off with the variable x raised to the power a, the exponent a, plus the variable x raised to the exponent b. The solution to this set is x to the a plus x to the b. I can't combine them, even though I have the same base, I don't know what the coefficients are, or the exponents are, so I can't factor out uh, any x's and simplify this. This is as simple as it comes. That is a, a trick question that the SAT might throw at you, and I love to start there. However, let's look at, and a lot of people would put this one as x to the a plus b. But x to the a plus b is equal to x to the a multiplied by x to the b. And that equals the quantity x raised to a plus b. x to the a raised to the power b is equal to x to the a times b. And they play with this a lot. When one of the exponents is negative, x to the negative b is equal to the inverse. Don't ask me why the notation of a negative exponent means 1 over x to the b. If I knew at some point in my math teaching, I've forgotten. So, or my math learning. I don't know why it stands for that, it just does. So, if they say, what is x to the a divided by x to the b? This is equal to x to the a minus b quantity. All right? Now, let's take a look at another exponent. And that is the exponent 1 half or 1 third. That's pretty much the only roots they use, but they use primarily 1 half. And x to the 1 half is just simply equal to the square root of x. Because if I had x to the 1 half times x to the 1 half, I would add the two together. I would have a plus b, and that is equal to x to the 1 half plus 1 half, or x to the 1 itself. Let's throw in a couple of numbers and see how the SAT loves to work with numbers. Its primary number it loves to play with is the number 2. I would highly recommend that you play around with 2's and the little caret button on your TI-84 and no 2 all the way up to 64. So we have 2 to the 1, of course 2 to the 0 is equal to 1, 2 to the 1 equals 2, 2 to the 2 is equal to 4, 2 to the 3 is equal to 8, 2 to the 4 is equal to 16, 2 to the 5th is equal to 32, and 2 to the 6th is equal to 64. Why is this important? The SAT loves to throw in silly little problems such as 2 to the 6 is equal to 8 times x plus 1. What is the value of x? Well 2 to the 6 I can split it into 2 times 2 to the 3 times 2 to the 3. Well, that's 2 eighths. I now have the same base. So I have 8 times 8 is equal to 8 to the quantity x plus 1. If I have 1x and 1x, or 1 and plus 1, over here, what do I need? 1 plus 1. x is simply equal to 1. 64 how do I get 64 out of this? X needs to be squared. They love to play that game. Look for 
exponents of 2 and 2, 4, 16, 18, and uh, 18, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, and 64. The powers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. They interchange these and they love to play with these a lot. Tenet. That's it.